Hello all you peeps, this is Edda here for another Let's Play of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. With me is Nightshade. Oh my god, we're back! And uh, we last left off finishing the, the first case, uh, which was... Uh, first keys? Case. Oh. <laughs> uh, which was uh, defending Larry Butts. And now we are here into the next chapter. Turnabout Sisters, here we go. Let's save the game. Yeah. And now Episode like, 2, Turnabout eat. Sisters. Oh, whoa. Like we actually will get a heart of the first... Uh, of, the, of all the cases we clear, we get a little heart. That's cool. And, and then we get a generic heart for uh, things we haven't cleared yet. That's pretty cool. I like that. Boop. So, so, so Boop. I guess those are okay. kind of be considered spoilers. Alrighty then. Okay, so Episode 2, Turnabout Sisters. Here we go. Bring, bring, bring. Beep. Hello, this is Maya. <laughs> hey Maya, it's me. Mia, what's up? You haven't called in a while. I'm sorry, I've been so busy. How have you been? Well, lonely, and it's all your fault. Nah, I'm just teasing. I've been great. I'm finally getting used to having my own place. That's good to hear. Actually, I'm calling because I have a favor to ask. I know, I know. You want me to hold evidence for you? Sharp as always. There's a lot of buzz about the upcoming trial. I just don't feel safe keeping the evidence here. I gotcha. So, what is it this time? It's... a clock. A clock? Yeah, it's made to look like that statue, the thinker, and it tells you the time. I thought you might like it. You always liked toys. Hey, I'm not a little girl anymore, sis. Now, now, you know I'm only teasing. Uh, I should probably tell you, the clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working? That's lame. I had to take the clockwork out. Sorry. I put some papers inside it instead. Papers? Is that the evidence then? Hmm, well, there's a possibility that it might turn out that way, yes. Can you come by the office tonight, say, 9 o'clock, to pick it up? I'll be in the uh, pre-trial pre meeting until then. Okay, sis, but I expect dinner, something good, like burgers. I could really go for a good burger. Okay, okay, we'll hit the usual joint. All right, it's a deal. Okay, sis, see you soon. Yeah, I'll be waiting, Maya. You know, I just showed you one cutscene of the crossover game and you somehow managed to nail the voice. Did I really? <laughs> well, it sounded close to it at the least. Conversation I mean, recorded, September 5th, 9.27 a.m. Ah, oh, we're near my birthday. That's not good. That's not a good sign. <laughs> not a good sign at all. September 5th, 8.57 p.m. Faye and Co. Law Offices. Now, Miss Faye, I'll take what's mine. The papers. I'm sorry, but I can't give you what I don't have. Miss Faye, you are a poor liar. Why, I see it right over there. That must be the thinker that swallowed those papers. How could you know? Ho, oh, oh, ho, you are not coniferous of my background. Gathering information is my business, you see. I, I should have been more careful. Ho, oh, oh. ho, my dear Miss Faye, I am so very sorry. I don't know who I'm talking about, but I'm afraid I must ask you one more thing. Your eternal silence. Farewell, Miss Faye. No! No! Oh, it's him! Yeah, I kind of forgot he showed up that early. Red, white, blue. No! September 5th, 9-8 p.m. Faye and Cola offices. Uh-oh, I'm late. <laughs> That's strange. The chief must have gone home already. She said her sister was coming over, so we should all go out for dinner. What's that smell? Blood? Mia! Maybe she's in her office. Uh, what do I do? 
Well, you can examine stuff if you really want to, but there's a situation in our hand. That can't be good. I have to check and see if Mia, the chief's okay. Okay, so we can't check anything because of that. So I move, right? Yep. Office. <gasps> Everything's been like, ugh, thrown out everywhere. That smell! Blood! Sis! Someone's there! Oh no! Chief! 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 Who are you? And then she left. Okay. The strange girl dropped out cold. Oh, damn. I left her lying on the office sofa. I went back to the chief where she lay under the window. Her body was still warm. Oh, I could feel it when I held her shoulder. Then all too quickly, it began to fade. Until finally, she was cold. Uh, shouldn't you call the police? <laughs> Chief. Um. Examine. Let's examine that thinker. It's encrusted with dried blood. How ironic that this became the murder weapon. Again. Chief. It's hard seeing her like this. But if there are any clues here, she was struck on the head with a blunt object. She probably died instantly. The thinker lying next to her must have been the murder weapon. And it's been added to the court record. Hmm. There are some glass shards near the chief's body. Must be pieces of the glass light stand lying broken in the back of the room. So glass shards are being added. Nothing else that seems like a clue here. Hmm. A piece of paper. It must have fallen from Mia's hand. What could it be? Let's check that. <gasps> the word is written in blood on this scrap of paper. Maya, did Mia write this? This piece of paper is a receipt from a department store dated yesterday. I think that's enough snooping around for now. I better call the police and find out what that girl was doing here. We don't like strangers around here. Right. I better call the police. That's funny. A few of the screws on the receivers are missing. Oh. Looks like someone was halfway through ta uh, taking it apart. Police! Please, come quick! W what was that? Someone screaming from outside the window? Oh, it's her! She's staring right at me! She's holding a phone in her hand! Great, now what? Well, you should move back into the uh, other room. There's a large building right across from the office. The Gatewater Hotel. A nice, luxurious place. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. So how do I I'll go back? Okay. So move? Yep. Uh... Oh, that girl just now. Where'd she go? Oh yeah, she was supposed to be on the sofa. Uh-oh, I hope she didn't run on me. Yikes! Don't scare me like that! Um, excuse me, but who are you? It's okay. I work here. Maya. Maya Faye. Maya Faye? Maya? So Mia was writing this girl's name. Maybe I should show her the receipt? I never thought there'd be a use for evidence like this outside of courtroom. Really? So we gotta present it? Sure. Before, my, uh, before Mia died, she wrote a message with her own blood. She wrote it on the back of this receipt. <gasps> that, that's my name! Why? Why would she write my name? 
please just calm down. Why would Sis write my name? Uh oh. Now I've done it. Wee oo wee oo! I like how it actually says wee oo. Wee oo wee oo wee oo! The police! Sounds like they're coming this way. Freeze, please! Oh, it's Gumshoe! Oh, fudge! I don't know my voice right now. <laughs> what do I do? <clears throat> Alright, I'm Detective Duke Gumshoe, see? Gumshoe, what an odd name. We received a report from the building across the way, see? Got our person saying they saw a murder. It must have been that woman I saw. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, I don't want either of you moving one inch, okay? Great. Just great. Maya, wait. She wouldn't have... Nah. Whoa! Excuse me! Eek! <laughs> this were Maya here mean anything to you? Um, that... That's my name. What? <laughs> A victim drew this to note in her own blood, see? With her dying breath, she wrote down the killer's name. K killer? I'm not- Case closed, you're coming down to the prison- Wham. What? what? Well, that was fast. Yep. And before we know it, she's in jail. Case closed. And the next episode- <laughs> Mia's younger sister, Maya, was arrested on the spot. I was taken in for questioning and didn't get out until the next morning. My eyes were heavy, but I couldn't sleep. I sat around, waiting for visiting hours to begin at the detention center. I had to talk to Maya as soon as possible. September 6, 9.07 a.m. Detention center, visitor's room. Wow, they have poor Maya locked up like a criminal. Oh... It's you, the lawyer. Good morning. Good morning. She looks so tired. Um, are you going to be my attorney? Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. Of course I will. First things first, I better get her cheered up. Yeah, of course I will. Cheer up! Really? Whoa, did I say the wrong thing? She looks sadder now. Um, what? What's wrong? Y you don't think I can do it? No. No one could. Who would believe me? Even you, when you found me in the office, you looked at me like I had done it. Did I look at her like that? No, no, I, I never thought. It it's okay. I understand. And I've also heard about you. Heard? Heard about me? Uh-oh. I, I was talking to my sister on the phone the other day. Today was my junior partner's first time in court. Wow, really? How'd that go? It was quite a scene. Honestly, I was on edge the whole time. It's been a while. Ha! <laughs> so he crashed and burned? <laughs> He's a genius. One of those strike fear into the hearts of evil types. The only thing he's lacking is experience. Huh? Sounds like it was fun. Well, I know who to go to if I ever get into trouble now. I don't know, Maya. I think you might want to wait. Give him three more years. Oh, three it's more gonna... years? Thanks! <laughs> well, technically, he trials and tribulation in three years later. That is, unless you want to be found guilty. And now she's being found guilty. Well, <laughs> in the next episode. <laughs> That's what she said. I I'm sorry. I didn't mean to trouble you. No, it's okay. It's true, I guess. But at the same time, I can't just sit and watch. When I think of the person who did this to Mia. I know. Okay, so. Let's talk. talk. Let's have a chat. Let's have a chit chat, with Maya. Chit chat, with Maya. There's something I've been wanting to ask you. Yes. What's with that outfit? <laughs> Jeez. 
Way to be a smooth talker, Phoenix. <laughs> oh, this? This is what all acolytes wear. It's my uniform, you could say. A acolytes? Like people in religious training? What is it you do? Oh, it's nothing strange, really. Yeah, really? <laughs> about that. I'm a spirit medium. In training. A spirit medium? I'm pretty sure that qualifies as strange. Could you tell me about the day of the murder? Yes. Let's see. That morning, I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on to a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. Evidence? Yes. That clock shaped like the thinker. The one Larry made. How could that have been evidence in a case? Um, right. She said something about that. I remember. Do you want to hear it in her own voice? Her own voice? Yes. I'm pretty sure our conversation is on my cell phone. You recorded it? Yeah. I forgot how to delete those things. Okay. And they allowed you to keep your cell phone and why? Yeah, that, that was the other thing I was going to question. Um, why did she still have a cell phone? So you say you have a conversation with your sister on your cell phone? Let's hear it. Right. Oh, I just remembered the detective took right. the cell phone. Yeah. That, that, that's more common sense. Yeah, I'm about to say, I'm like uh, <laughs> throwing all the rules out the window. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, right. Of course. Next time I see Detective Gumshoe, I'll ask him for it. I'll write you a note so you don't forget, okay? Sure, thanks. The note is mostly and for I'm... Gumshoe. Got the memo. So you're an acolyte, uh, er, uh, medium in training? That's right. The Fay family, especially the women, have always been very sensitive to the spirit world. Wait a second, you said the Fay family? So. Mia was into that stuff too? Of course! She left the mountain to follow her career, she said. Her powers were first class too. I... I had no idea. Hmm... Wait! What? So, you're a real honest-to-goodness spirit medium? With ESP and all that? Yes, in training. Well, can't you contact Mia's spirit then? We can just ask her who killed her. Oh, I... I'm sorry. I'm still in training. I couldn't do something on that level. Hmm. I thought that would be too easy. Yeah, um, was, if we could have pulled it off, we could have just wrapped the case and move on to the next episode. I know, right? Uh-huh. Something to matter? Um, I was wondering, could I ask you a favor? This is the address of a famous lawyer. My sister gave me this a long time ago. She said if I was ever in trouble, I should call him. And, well, I'm in trouble. No sh- Do you think you can go- <laughs> No sh Sherlock! Do you think you could go ask him to represent me? Hmm. Yeah, sure. Sure, why not? I'll go ask. So, I, 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 need a, I need a new job anyway. Right. I have no one else to turn to. Say, uh, say, what about your parents? Oh boy. <sighs> Good job, Phoenix. Number one dick of the year. <laughs> I, I see. D don't worry. Leave it to me. Thank you. The trial's tomorrow at 10. What? Tomorrow? Tomorrow. Better get used to that, Phoenix! This guy refuses! <laughs> they told me that if I don't find one, the state will pick an attorney to defend me. When will that happen? They're giving me until four this afternoon. And visiting hours are almost up. I better hurry! Right, I'll be back! Huh. Okay. Hey, you're right. Could you tell me about the day of the murder? <laughs> uh, wait. Sorry, I know it must be hard. No, it's okay. All I've been doing the last few hours is talking about it. I've kind of gotten used to it. Let's see. That morning, I got a call from my sister. 
She wanted me to hold on to a piece of evidence. Yeah, we just read this. Uh, I think we... It probably would clarify. So no, the text is it. slightly different. Yeah. So then when did you arrive at the office? It was right around nine. The lights were off and I could smell blood. Then I found her. My sister. I appreciate that everybody in this game seems to know the smell of blood. Yeah, I know, right? Thanks, Maya. That's all I need to hear for now. Okay, now we can get out of here. Alright, let's move up. So we're going to Ghostburg? We could go straight to Grosburg, Oh, jeez, yes. look at that. Yeah, that's unknown territory right there. September 6th, Grosburg Law Offices. According to the receptionist, the big boss is out. She couldn't say when he'd be back. Must be hard to keep track of everything when you're a famous lawyer. Not to mention run an office like this. I guess I'll just have to come back later. Alright then. Oh, I guess I leave? Let's go back to our own office, which is slightly less fancy. September 6th, Fan Cola Offices. The office is filled with police officers. They're all busily searching for clues. And emptying my fridge. Oh, it's Gumju! This is a crime scene, pal! No trespassing! Um, sorry. Don't I know you from somewhere? <laughs> oh, God, really? Wait, you're that butts guy, aren't you? No, no! Phoenix Wright. How could anyone mistake me for Larry? Ah, oh, I guess I got the wrong name, Miss Wright. <laughs> sorry about that. That butts guy, he was a killer, and you're no killer, right? He was proven innocent. <laughs> um, right. And you were... Detective Gumshoe. De Detective Gumtree. <laughs> no! <laughs> um, Gumshoe, wasn't it? Dick Gumshoe? Right! At your service. I'm the Hang dick! Hang on! That Detective Gumshoe to you, pal! Anyway, get the name right. And don't go calling me Dick. <laughs> what a dick! What a dick! <laughs> Hey, Dick! <laughs> Get over here! <laughs> yes, sir! Be right there! Aww. Aww. Uh, <clears throat> You're a lawyer, right, pal? You got business here, you better do it quick. Whew, he thinks I'm Maya's lawyer. Okay, um, I guess we talked to him. About Miss Faye, did you do an autopsy? Hmm. You want to know the results, eh? Now don't you look at me like that, pal! It's no use! It's no use! It's no use! <laughs> she might have been your boss, but that doesn't mean you get any special treatment. Alright, alright. You can see the report, but that's all. Okay, cool. Um, about Maya. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the trial. Sorry, pal. This is one trial you aren't going to win. Why do you say that? The city's put Prosecutor Edgeworth on the prosecution. Edgeworth. I'm sure you know what that means. You being a lawyer and all. Oh, boy. Edgeworth. Prosecutor Edgeworth. That's right, pal. Mr. Miles Edgeworth himself. Wait, you do know him, don't you? Of course I do. Of course I do. I know him. He's a feared prosecutor. Doesn't feel pain. Doesn't feel remorse. He won't stop until he gets his guilty verdict. Or a nice cup of tea. Aw, oh, don't talk about him that way. You make him barely sound human. Still, I'm afraid this pretty much decides the case. So, Edgeworth is on this one. He hasn't lost a case since he became prosecutor at the incredibly young age of 20. Wow. 20? And we're going to ruin all of that. Of course, there are rumors of back alley deals and forged evidence. Oh. All I know uh, for sure is that Edward hates crime with an almost abnormal passion. I never imagined I'd be facing him so soon. Ah, foreshadowing. Alright, so now what we do, Luke? Gotta present a note. Oh yeah, the note. There you go. I was wondering, did you see Maya's face, uh, Maya Faye's cell phone? Oh, that? I have that. Do you think you could give it back? Sure! 
I mean, wait a second, pal. Tricky lawyer. Uh-oh, he's on to me. Tell him straight. Yeah, I'll tell him straight. Um, if I tell him why I want it, there's no way he'll give it to me. Something the matter? Oh, no, it's just, you know, detective. Nope, I know nothing, pal. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. That cell phone has a lot of numbers on it. Like, her boyfriend. A cell phone holds all of little girl's sweetest and spiciest secrets. Er, you're trying to confuse me! Sorry, pal. I already check all the numbers in memory. Impressive. You're quite the detective. Uh, huh? Oh, here. You can have the phone back. <laughs> there weren't any suspicious call records in there after all. Really? Seems he didn't notice the recorded conversation. Oh, gumshoe. I guess I've asked all the questions I need to. You all dumb, pal? Um, yes, thank you. I, I'll be heading out now. Oh, wait. One more thing I wanted to mention to you. I don't suppose you're planning on talking to the wit to that witness. Anyway, you better not. No influencing the witness with your lawyerly ways, pal. Come to think of it, I had completely forgotten about her. The witness? Yeah, Miss April May. I'm sorry about this, but I can't tell you anything about her. Well, you just told me her name. Miss May, huh? So you said her home already then? Yeah, <laughs> you're drawing the loyally tricks on me now. She's not going outside her room until trial. So she's still in the hotel across the way. Oh, gumshoe. You're making this all too easy for me. I guess I should know better than to try to get a detective to leak information. You got that right, pal. Time to pay a visit to Miss May. Oh, my. In the next episode, we're going to go into an hotel room uninvited. All right. We're going to meet the lovely Miss May and May. see what we can May. get out of her. Not May. Not Faye. May. I said May. You said Faye. <laughs> I said May. <laughs> I'm gonna rewind that and you're gonna know how to set it right. It's probably gonna be here, but it sounded like May on my In side the next place. episode, we're gonna be examining April May and yeah, see what other information we can get out for this case of Turnabout Sisters. And this was Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney with me and Nightshade. Yes. With that, we are out of here. <laughs>